Okay. We have here the new Sham Range from Dinastar. It harks back to both the fact that they're built at the bottom of the Chamonix Valley and also it's kind of where they started out their uh, lightweight free ride uh, thing, perfect four line ski. So obviously I've picked these two uh, mainly because they match my suit but also because they are I think the pick of a range of, uh, of four skis. Uh, we've got a couple of biggie, we've got the Littley and the Biggie down on the floor there. I'll talk about them in just a second. Right now, we are liking very much the 97, this one here, and the 107. Um, whichever one you prefer, it all depends on how fat you like to go, basically. 97 is an absolutely brilliant one ski uh, quiver, I believe is the phrase they're using these days. What you've got, put them together, because they've both got pretty similar, well, you can't actually put them together because of the brakes. The, um, you've got a fair bit of nose uh, rocker, which is basically just a long nose, not really rocker. You've got a lot of camber from here down to there, and then you've got a pintail at the end, which sucks you into powder, and also basically takes away a lot of the effective length on piece, to making the whole ski a lot more nimble, particularly when you get to the wider widths. So, I've locked those two together now, not to get on the top. This is the entry point, the 87. We like that very much, very, uh, very good, probably more piece biased, unless you're a lightweight. And the 127 we had out yesterday in powder, which was a belter. I think that's got a chance of being a bit of a kind of classic powder ski. So you can see the really, really exaggerated fat nose that really floats you up. And the pintail will just sort of suck you down when you're going fast. This is a fantastic charging ski and it's not that heavy. So uh, you can run it fast without having to have an awful lot of bulk in the ski itself. It's got sidewall construction like all of them have, but, uh, but it's not a massive, it's not a monster of a ski, really quite lightweight. 